All right, guys, I am back for a little bit and we're gonna work on these. Unfortunately, the video that I recorded yesterday ended up not loading. It was like, said it was corrupted or something. So we all know me and technology. So that said, I'm gonna show you what I did here just in a quick little fashion. That's pretty frustrating, huh? So basically, I, what I showed in that video is how to put like using different hinges. Um, and now I can't find the other two, pe oh, there they are. Two pieces that um, I used um, these little things. And um, I talked about how um, with the very first one that we made, I used cardstock for these hinges and it made it really thick here, which I mean is okay. Um, but then over here, it's not as thick, which I mean, it, that's okay. I mean, I still like this. I think it still looks great. And then once we put the finishing touches on, it'll look really great. However, I want these to be a little flatter so we can get more in, in it. So I'm just going to glue a couple to show you what I did. And then, um, we'll move on. I'll pause for a second, kind of clean this up and, um, the word I'm looking for um oh my goodness like okay so in the last video that isn't going to air now <laughs> um I told you guys that I worked almost a 17 hour day on Friday um and so I wasn't all together with it yesterday and that's probably part of the problem <laughs> and um yeah your girl's exhausted and today I I mean it's like four o'clock and I'm just now kind of out of bed <laughs> as bad as that sounds I'm just so stinking tired um so yeah it was like 17 hours on concrete so I mean it'll be nice for the overtime but um and the day before I stayed late and then yeah so it's just it's been it's been a week I'm glad today is Sunday kind of but since it's Sunday, it also means that I have to go back to work tomorrow. So, <laughs> again, I love my job, but it's a little, little taxing right now. And kind of missing my boyfriend. Um, he's had to work almost all weekend too. So, there's that. So, not that I probably would have had a whole lot of energy to spend really great quality time with him but you know it is what it is so anyhow um yeah um um just a reminder for some of the new subscribers um this is something I addressed in the other video too and obviously you won't see it so we'll just address it again really quick um it will dampen the mood for a couple of minutes but um the TCTC challenge is really not about, um, it's not about skill level and it's not about um, strongly technical things. It's about creating three things in 15 minutes to build up stock and sometimes the projects are a little more elaborate than others and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're quick, simple, easy, and the true, um, the true um, effects, I guess, of the piece that we make will come to life when we decorate. So, that said, I had one mean comment the other day, um, and how I handle those is um, this person has now for a second time said something that um, I didn't really appreciate. And so now how I handle that kind of thing is now I just pin your comment so everybody can see it. So um, I don't do bullies, I don't do negative comments. Um, it, this is a safe place for everybody to learn. And um, quite frankly, it's my happy place. And so I'm just not going to tolerate it. I never have and I never will. So 
if you're not enjoying what you're seeing, um, then move along. I no hard feelings. We'll just um, we'll just call it not everybody's for everybody. So that said, um, yeah, I don't, um, or I should say I haven't in the last like year or two really responded to comments, not because I don't want to, but because it literally boils down to time. I either have time to create videos or I have time to respond to comments, which um, I know that must be terribly frustrating for some people. I, I get it, I totally do. Um, that's why I really try to address co um, comments in the videos. So if you ask me a question, I try really hard to address it in um, in a video. So um, yeah, so what I was showing you yesterday, so that's enough of the, the um, uh, what's the word, um, negative stuff. So let me show you what I did with this one because this one is actually almost done because when I left off the video yesterday, I was um, gonna add a couple more of, to these and then come back and we were gonna work on the covers. So I'm gonna add, um, this is just an inch cut piece of paper. Um, again, I did not use cardstock. I just used regular like copy paper thickness. Um, so yeah, anywho. So, and I think, um, I think that that was the last one that I wanted to do on that one because, um, we're going to use, I'm not sure which cover for this one yet. We'll, in the next video, we'll address it. I want it to open this way and then you can start writing on it, right? Or, I mean, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter which way it goes necessarily. Um, and then I'm going to put the back piece on probably off camera because I need to cover it. Um, or I'll just, I worry about time a little bit, which I probably should stop worrying about that. But the longer the video, um, the longer it takes me to upload. So that's a lot of reasons why if you see that I upload like five new videos, it's, I mean, they're kind of shorter videos. Um, cause most of you that have been with me for a while know that, um, I, Um, live in the rural area and so internet can be kind of sketchy so anything longer than like 20 25 minutes and it doesn't it takes me forever to upload and I would do it at work like on my breaks and stuff but um, you have to really watch what's happening with your uploads because um, sometimes they go awry so All right, so that one's all set. We'll put the back and the front cover on um, after we get it decorated, I think. Um, okay, so then the other hinge was this one and I'll show you how I did that one. It's very similar to what we were just doing. So I'm gonna add it here. I think that piece is probably long enough, yeah. Okay, and you know what? My tags aren't lining up quite how I would really like them, but you know, Sometimes they just don't, they're not going to. No matter how perfect we try to be, it's not gonna do it. But that's okay, that's why it's homemade, right? That's why it's made with love. So yep, I just put it there. So these are just the techniques that, that I'm using. Um, you can definitely use fabric, uh, like especially, um, you know, if you wanted to use um, like, uh, uh, gosh, what am I thinking? Just like extra of your fabric. Like you could use just like your little edge clippings here and you just cut them down to how big you think you want your hinge, you know, and put them on like this, like that. So, um, if you do that, I would suggest maybe using a glue. Um, the art glitter glue may work. Um, I don't know. I when I do fabric stuff, I tend to glue with the uh, Fabri-Tac, 
And yes, mine's almost empty, so it stays upside down so that I'm not struggling <laughs> during a video to get it um to get it uh down to the bottom so it saves a little bit of time while we're trying to talk and all that. So anywho, yeah, so hope you guys are all having a great weekend. Sometimes you'll have to go back and just trim some edges off. And that's okay. If you want to. If not, that's fine too. Oops. So yeah, just clean it up. So there's there's a couple of paper ideas. Um, and really, the sky is the limit. I mean, I my suggestion would be go, go th the thinner your hinge, the better. Um, just for the sake of thickness. Um, but really that's kind of up to you. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and bring along a couple other little things. I might go ahead and, oh, oh, I know what else I had showed you in there. All right, so I'm gonna have to make a couple more tags because we are getting low and maybe that's something I do off camera really quick too, is make a couple more um, uh, uh, like just go ahead and finish up adding all those, uh, oh gosh, um, all the hinges is what I'm trying to say, but not being very successful at it. Um, but yeah, during right now, I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I just take a stack and cause, um, I can't remember who asked about the fanning. And so I'll kind of run through it again with you. Um, only this time I'll give better detail. Okay. So I'll just take a couple here. Oh, and I think my washer's finally done. Oh yeah, that's a whole that's a whole another story, isn't it? When you're working so many hours trying to get it to uh do your laundry and all that jazz. I'm like I literally it's been like three weeks since I did a load of laundry. Yeah, I'm gonna need jeans this week. I'm gonna need some t-shirts, you know. All that crazy stuff, right? Okay. Okay, so the reason I do the fanning thing that I was showing you a little bit ago is because we have massive amounts of tags, right? And um, you can ink individually, however, it's gonna get really tedious if you make these, right? Or any large project like this. So the fanning process is I first start out by having them as close to all together as possible. I usually take these three fingers on each side and just like you would on spreading your cards, it's gonna be one, one side of your, your hand or one hand is gonna be doing a lot of the motion and the other one, so like you're scooting this way, why this side is scooting this way, or vice versa. Or like when you're fanning your cards, when you're getting, um, when you're like playing old maid or whatever with the kiddos or whatever, um, and then you can kind of guide it. And I am kind of holding it stiffly, like there's some pressure there. And it, I am waving, but I'm also kind of pushing my fingers like you would um, on a deck of cards. And then I, I do hold pretty firmly. And then I just run the ink this way across it, okay? Just catching all the edges. Um, the wider you spread your page, the more ink you'll have on your sides. And since this is a new, um, relatively new uh, sponge, it's not going to, it's gonna leave some marks a little bit, but you just kind of do that. So I get as many as I can on one side, okay? And I'm just gonna stack it back up, and now I'm gonna go the other direction. 
where I'm pinching and moving top, this one's moving bottom, okay? And I know, I'm sorry, I, I bet sometimes it's frustrating because I'm very ambidextrous. And um, so, yeah. People at work complain about that all the time. <laughs> They're like, oh, how can you do it both hands? I don't know. It's kind of weird that way. I don't know how I do it. So there's that. Maybe a lot of you are like that too. I think that is another one of the fascinating parts about junk journaling is really, it can be anybody and anybody's skill set. It's not like, it doesn't have to be perfect to look amazing, right? And if you're more left brain, you can do like precision work, right? If you're more right brain, that it's more, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more um, like you put more creative, uh, or not creative, um, you put more um, decorating in there, right? So I think that I think that's one of the main reasons why junk journaling has appealed to me so much over the years is that it really is is something anybody can do. It doesn't matter whether you're creative or not creative. It's there's something in this craft for everybody. So, yeah, there's that. You know, and you can't always go back and retouch if you want, but there you're pretty you're pretty well inked. Yeah, it's kind of straighter. It doesn't give you the fringy type inking, but it does take away some of the white and some of the boldness. So that's one of the things I like about it. Um, just seeing which ones were the ones that free tags and the ones that are already kind of in a binder binder I mean <laughs> oh my goodness oh I hope you guys do chuckle um anywho all right so I'm gonna pause I'm gonna glue a couple more to where we can just throw the covers on and I just realized that I might end up just putting all the ones that I've already glued these like kind of off ones, I might go ahead and just put them all together, kind of do a hodgepodge one because I only have two covers. Duh. <laughs> so we're going to get kind of a random booklet here. That'll be all good, right? Yeah. All right. So I will be back in just a few minutes with all of the supplies to work on the cover here. And yeah, I will talk to you in a second. All right, guys. I finished doing a couple of those little things did um, a little bit of my more of my laundry yeah so we'll finish up this video um, I'm just this is a hardback piece here and I will show you what I was thinking and again you guys um, heard it or you didn't actually hear it sorry um, kind of what I was thinking of how to finish this one up Um, I'm going to do a, something that just a little bit different. Um, I'm hoping that it turns out okay. <laughs> I'm not really for sure yet. Um, let's, I'm going to set that aside since we have the backing on that one. And then I'm going to go in here with a little bit of stuff. And this is, um, some of the things that, um, Dawn sent me last winter. So yeah, um, if you're curious, I get this stuff at um, Joann's in their wedding section. It's kind of like just a shimmery lace type piece. It makes a really great um, background. That's gonna be a little bit too big, but I do like it. Um, it is a great filler. Like I said, great background piece and it works just about good with anything. I've put ink on it before. It holds ink pretty well. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. And we got playing cats in the background. So if you're hearing some weird stuff, that's the kitty cats. Um, yeah, they, the minute the camera turns on, they decide they're 
it's gotta be wild. And then you can kinda pull it, give it some dimension. Don't pull too hard, because again, it is just, it is just lace. I'll give it a little bit. Actually, we need the other glue. And it's gonna take me forever to cap it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw just a tiny bit of ink on, on just the white edges here. Not a ton, just kinda blend it in there. I thought these looked really pretty with fall. And then I brought some Tim Holtz words. trying to kind of decide how I'm going to go about gluing it if I'm going to do like one piece just kind of glue I think I'll glue this piece to this really quick so that I'll just take just a little bit of glue there okay just touch down so it stays in place like so okay. and then what I like to do is just put my glue on a little bit heavier and, um, and kind of really hold it down I don't worry about gluing the lace down too much unless I need to. And I really don't want those edges to um, be glued down of the lace. I want them kind of just free falling, if that makes any sense. That glue is getting pretty old, getting all kinds of globby. Hold and press. And fabric tack usually works pretty pretty quickly. Okay. Now, I was thinking we would go back to these a little bit. And do I want a copper color, or do we want gold? Let's just see what the copper looks like. I don't know, copper kind of just says fall to me a little bit more. Oh, yep, I like it. I mean, not that golds aren't part of it too, but I'm really digging copper right now. And then we'll have to set that aside for a minute and we'll decorate the front of this other one. Um, then we'll come back to this. As soon as it dries out a little bit. Hi, Grace. What are you doing? I'm gonna go shower. You're gonna go shower? All right. Tell everybody hi. It's Hello. been a couple weeks since they heard your delightful voice. I don't know about delightful. Oh, stop. Tell them how college is going. Meh. 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 You like it? It's school. <laughs> it's school. All right. At least now it is. Yeah. Don't let her fool you guys. She's enjoying it. And she did actually um, join a church group right there on campus. So they get together a couple of nights a week. So she, she will never say she's enjoying it, but she just comes in, comes home in a delightful mood. So. That is wonderful. And she's making some new friends, so that's always good too. Oh, I love 
love that. Oh, I like the colors and how striking that is. Let me grab a paper towel. And again, I use these quite frequently. Um, they are the um, Art Alchemy uh, Metallics by Prima. They're a wax. Um, when I use them, I always give the disclaimer. They do stink, kind of like turpentine. Um, so if you have sensitivity to it, um, definitely think about that before you purchase them. Okay. Oh my goodness, I really like that. Okay, now let's see what we can do with this one while that one is drying. And that, that stuff does, if you're not careful, it will get everywhere. Um, so I do suggest doing it on a mat or like setting them on a paper towel or something when you're done. All right, so this one, I'm gonna do the same lace on, on it that we just did. Um, like I said, it, it's this, I, I use this quite frequently. I use it to back words. Um, it's just, it's a nice, nice little lace. And it's fairly inexpensive, you know, like for what you get, it's fairly inexpensive. So I think it's like six bucks for that big roll. And I maybe, maybe go through one. This is my second one. I've been junk journaling for about four years. So that tells you, I mean, it gives you quite a bit of stuff. Okay, let's throw some ink on. And I'm not sure we're using all those pieces. I know for sure we're using this one because it says fall to me. It's not as springy as the other, other ones in that pack were. So. Over. All right. I couldn't decide whether I was going to uh, have any more of these on there to give it a little more color or if I would like it with just the one B and then do something down here at the bottom. And I think I do just like it with the, the flower and the one B. Um, and I had pulled these too, just in case. We decided to go a little bit different route, but I like it just how it is. Um, and then I'm not gonna use the um, things on there. I'm gonna use the rose gold paint and just go around it a little bit thicker around the edges. Um, but this is kind of where I wanted to bring in the Tim Holtz words, I believe. Um, my friend Lori sent these to me. I don't, and I set them aside. To, I was thinking something bold, so the black and white words, like black background. I think I like this one, Have an Open Heart. And I think I'm going to put it on some scrap. Um, papers here. We'll just steal from the challenge here. Okay. I'm just going to kind of tear some of these edges down a little bit, give it a little bit rougher look.
Oh, yep, I like that. I like it, I like it. Okay, so let's get that glued on and put its, um, no, that's not the glue I need. Oh no, that was almost a bad mistake, wasn't it? Funny, that would have been bad. That was a little bit excess of glue we didn't really need, huh? Okay. Okay, now I need a little, little scrap of something. Throw some, I don't know if I can get that like squeezed out just on my finger. We'll see. Oh, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> I'm really spreading it everywhere. Yeah, so it's kind of delicate, but you can at least see it, right? Like that, okay. Big mistake doing it this way. Oh, hopefully not. Never underestimate your finger tool. bit more than I probably would have normally put on but you know it is what it is right that's why they call it being creative I guess I'm gonna bring it up a little bit like that smooth it out a little bit and then from there it'll still be journaled on it's dry. All right. It will take a few minutes to get this dry. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. I think we're probably getting close to an hour now. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't time the first one. So I'm going to pause it and then we'll um, throw them together. And yeah, then we will call it a video. All right. Be right back, guys. Okay guys, um, these aren't quite dry yet and I hate to leave you guys hanging um, with just that I'll be right back. Um, so, but I do need to go, oh, oh, whew, I thought I glued that on there. <laughs> oh, uh, and then it was all helter skelter there. Anyways, okay. So I hate to leave you guys hanging, but those aren't quite dry yet. And um, I'm expecting a pretty important phone call here in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish out this video by saying goodbye, but I will film the next one here in a few minutes and then I'll just release them like back to back so that you guys aren't really missing out on anything or like have to wait a day or whatever for it. So, all right guys, um, I will just talk to you soon, bye.